call. Many are on video and I think we are ready to go. Great, thank you. I just wanna thank my team. I think Amy is um, probably the best Zoom convener that we can imagine at the moment. We're so thrilled for her expertise and her presence on our webinars. And we are absolutely delighted that you all are with us today. Please do remember that we're recording this video. So if you like what you hear today and you wanna push this content out, to your clientele, please feel free to do that. We're creating it as open source content. We really hope it's valuable for you and your clients. And we've worked with Kyle before, so I know you're in for a treat. I know that the pandemic has been disruptive uh, for all of us. And I do know that innovation is something that usually takes place in an environment of disruption. So we hope that the series that we're bringing you is helping you do a couple things. The first is we want you to secure your business. And the other thing we want you to do is build capacity as we move through a time of enormous um, crisis and disruption, but also to create some headspace for you to align your team and your mission and for you to start thinking about how you might approach your business differently when you've got all of the limitations off and you can come back into hopefully an optimized version of yourself coming out of the, um, out of the pandemic. So our mission at the chamber is to convene people and ideas for the benefit of our businesses and our community. And at first we weren't quite sure how we were gonna be able to do this. And then every day when people come on for our webinars, we feel enormously gratified that we have the privilege of delivering on our mission promise, even in the midst of a pandemic. And that's really all due to our team, um, most of whom are on this call today. I wanna say thank you to them, especially to Tiffany uh, and Amy, who execute this for us every day and to our communications team, who've hopefully told you about this. Um, so look to us every day, Monday through Thursday at 4 p.m. to provide a place for you to gather, a place for you to continue to network and grow your presence within the community, and then hopefully for you to learn or become inspired by something that helps you either navigate the crisis or emerge from it stronger than ever. So Kyle Roach is our team building facilitator, and he's been uh, the Leadership Winter Park Retreat Facilitator for the past four years. Many of you know that delivering relevant programming is um, one of four key pieces of our strategic planning and Leadership Winter Park is one of the most recognizable ways that we do that. So Kyle's worked with us for four years on our retreat and he's trained other groups in Central Florida such as Leadership West Volusia and Leadership Camps at Stetson. Kyle's full-time job is as a culinary instructor for Winter Park Technical College and he also coaches the men's and women's um, University High Volleyball Program, and he's the assistant coach for the women's program uh, in his spare time. So we're enormously grateful to Kyle Roach and a uh, longtime family friend, his dad, Rick Roach, who I see is on the call. Um, it was a very close friend of my mother. So personal privilege, I'm going to reach out to Rick Roach and say thanks for being with us today. But at this point, I want to hand it over to Kyle and say welcome and teach us how to build a better team. All right. Thank you so much, Betsy and Amy and Tiffany for having me on here. I got to say, it's not too often that I have the floor instead of my father on a situation like this. So I am honored and um, thank you so much for having me. Um, so I'm here to talk to you a little bit about virtual team building. Um, I got to say, Amy reached out to me about this webinar series and I was so excited to be involved, mainly due to just the interaction that we can have with our community throughout all this. But she asked me, she said, hey, Kyle, will you, will you jump on our webinar series and, and, and talk a little bit about team building? I said, oh, yeah, no problem. I'm, I'm good at that. I got that down. She said, well, I want you to focus on virtual team building. And I said, you know, first reaction was, yeah, definitely. Second reaction was, how am I going to do that? Um, because virtual team building is just something that is, you know, a little bit different for um, us in the team building industry as far as we're just so used to that face-to-face -face interaction, that physical interaction. So I decided to take her challenge on and I started to do a little research and figure out ways to, you know, actually try to build a team through this whole new series and process that we're on. It was actually quite difficult. It was hard to find um, information and, and resources for, for virtual team building. So 
I had to look at, well, what do I already do and what works and then how do we adapt that? So I feel like that's huge with what we're going through right now is adaptation, adapting and then evolving. Um, one point I want to make is I know that work is still going on. I know that these meetings are still happening. My wife and I, you know, are, are working from home and we're involved in meetings that are sometimes an hour and a half to two hours long. And I think that we cannot forget the importance of building the team and building a community um, while we're at work. So while we're expecting our employees to be constantly you know, working from home, what we don't understand is that they're missing that camaraderie. They're missing those coffee breaks and those lunch breaks where they have that chance to interact with their coworkers. And in my opinion, I feel that uh, a stronger relationship in your workplace is huge for employee um, satisfaction and employee satisfaction is what will result in um, efficiency and productivity and innovation within your workplace. Um, I come from a hospitality background. My degree is in hospitality management from UCF and I read a book called Setting the Table by Danny Meyer and Danny Meyer explains in that book that you should treat your employees better than you treat your guests because your employees will then treat your guests with the same respect that you treat them. So building this sense of um, camaraderie and team building, I think is so important. It can't get lost. So what I'm here to do today is give you a couple of ideas, how you can incorporate team building right now into your virtual meetings. I'm going to share with you um, about six or seven ideas actually. Um, and then I would love it if you would be involved and interact with me. So Right now, I, um, I get this all started. If you can actually do me a favor, I'm gonna put you to work real fast. I need you to find four pieces of paper, okay? So four pieces of paper, um, it can be computer paper, it can be any kind of paper you have. And then what I want y'all to do is I want you to write your name on the very top of that paper, okay? So just while I'm talking, we'll, we'll use this, the second part of this, this uh, series here, but um, you're going to find four pieces and you're gonna write your name just right on the top here, okay? leaving room to write um, somewhere around this area. So um, do that for me and then we'll use that here in a little bit. All right, so what do we have to do team building for? Why, why implement this? Well, to be honest with you, it's beneficial for both the employee and the employer. It makes the employees feel connected. It makes them feel valued. You're in a sense of a time right now where everybody is physically disconnected from people. So. Um, how can we allow them to feel valued in their workplace? And to be honest with you, it's as simple as just allowing them to share a little bit of information about themselves. Um, and that can just kind of help to help to keep this, this, this sense of family vibe in your, in your uh, office or workspace. And then on, on top of all that, it allows your leaders and your managers to become familiar with the employee talents and their skills, things that you may not know about them um, that you may be able to utilize in the workplace. So, I'm a big believer on team building. All right, you ready? So here are some ideas and how you can implement team building right now into your virtual meetings. First one is conversation cards, okay? So this one is not a new strategy. Um, this has been utilized for decades, but um, I feel like this is the perfect time for it. So in these meetings, especially when they're gonna last over 45 minutes, you really wanna start it off with with allowing your employees to talk. Allow them to get something off their chest before you ask them to um, give you their full attention. So when we do conversation cards, you have two ways you can do this. You can do it either um, as an entire group, which I think is awesome, depending on your size. I'd say it works best for about maybe maximum 15 people, or you could even designate teams each day. You could say, hey, you're gonna be working with this person this day and spend about five to 10 minutes on a personal Zoom with that person going over a few topics. Um, some questions that you can pose. So we have two styles of questions. We can do surface level and we can do um, a little bit more vulnerable questions that allows us to really understand our coworkers and who we work with. Um, some surface level questions that you can ask. I'm going to give you four examples. One, what is your favorite possession? Two, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Three, if you could have one superpower, what would you choose and why? Four, do you want to stay, would you want to stay the same age forever? And if so, what would that age be? So these could be four questions that you pose and, and just start your meeting with that. And you'll be able to really see how that little piece 
of um, an activity, five, 10 minutes can create a lot of innovation and, and creativity within your, within your group members. Um, some more vulnerable questions. So if you want a little bit more of a, of a deeper thinking and deeper responses to really get to know your coworkers, um, here's four questions you could ask. One, what is your biggest accomplishment in your life and your both academic or professional life? Two, who is the most influential person in your life? Three, recall your best day ever, or on the flip side, recall your worst day ever. And four, where do you see yourself in 10 years? All of these questions are so much more beyond yes or no, and they just allow you to understand a little bit of piece of information about um, the people that you work with. So I'm a big believer in conversation cards. The second thing that I think you can implement, and honestly, you can do it right now, my wife and I were just talking about this. We thought this was um, perfect for the scenario that we're all in. Um, being that we're all working from home, we all have unique and new coworkers that we're working with. Isn't that right? So your new coworkers could be anything from your spouse at home, your uh, siblings, maybe someone you're taking care of, a grandparent, mother, father, maybe even a new furry friend, right? So I call this activity Coworker Chronicles. Okay, coworker chronicles. So you could start this activity at the beginning of your meeting and ask anybody, would they like to submit an entry into the coworker chronicles? And um, to give you an example of that, I'd like to submit an entry right now. My coworker won't stop staring at me during my lunch break. It's really annoying, keeps staring at me. He even sometimes begs for my food. I'm, I'm just super annoyed by this. Um, if you couldn't guess, my coworker is my dog. Um, in my way to my office this morning, my coworker slapped me on the booty. I couldn't believe it. I wanted to file harassment charges right then and there. Um, I also work with my wife here at home. So Coworker Chronicles is just a way that you could kind of have some fun and allow your employees to just sort of um, get something off their chest and get some laughter out there. The third example I'd like to give you before we start interacting together is, um, I don't know if any of y'all remember the uh, famous 90s show, but I love this show. It was called MTV Cribs, right? So MTV Cribs was uh, an awesome entertainment show. And why do people like it? because you can see the inside of their cribs. Well, you have a camera, you have an audience. If you started your meeting and you allowed one person at the beginning of each meeting to simply show, show off their crib for three to four minutes, maybe five minutes, and just show some of their, their favorite parts of their crib. And, and, and for everybody out there, crib is house, just so I have to put that out there. Um, show off your house and, and your favorite parts. So if I were to show you my house, I take you to my garden and I show you some of the things I'm growing out back. Um, so just ways for people to show you a little bit of their personal life. And I believe that that will actually enhance productivity and um, will be the gateway to an amazing meeting um, in the future. So there are three ways that you can, um, you can team build with your, with your clients right now, or your, your coworkers right now. And I would like to involve all of you at this moment. So if I can go ahead and uh, start a team building activity, um, this will be one that I call caption this all right so what i want y'all to do is you're going to be using the text box you're going to use the chat and in that chat if you can type out a caption for a photo that i'm going to show you so i'm going to show you probably about three or four photos and we'll do a um, round by round and the uh the first photo i just want you to type in there what you think the caption should be so this will be just a picture um it currently does not have a caption and i'd like you to say what you think it should be so I'll hold it up and then you will type into the chat box again and you can pull up the chat box and have this screen up at the exact same time and we're going to have a little fun with this and uh, just whatever comes to mind let it be funny serious creative um, doesn't matter but I'm gonna have you caption this okay so the first photo is everyone ready can I get a thumbs up hey, let, let me just share um just to make sure everyone is ready you can find the chat box by clicking on the bottom of your screen click on participants you can see everyone who's on the call and on the bottom there you can click chat so everyone get ready get your chat box ready and back to you kyle okay chat box up and the game is this caption this all right everybody we need a caption for this photo this looks like an adorable young man he's having some issues though i'm not sure what his problem is i need a caption for him i'm gonna need everybody in your text box, caption this. <laughs> yes, Disney World is closed. 
<laughs> yes, it is a tiger. Tiger, oh gosh. <laughs> no more homeschooling, mom. That's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> All right, that is the first photo caption this. So I got to say my favorite one is probably, oh no, Disney World is closed. You know that that's something all these kids hate right now. So there we go, caption this. All right, number two, you guys ready? Number two, here we go. Caption this. All right, what kind of captions are we gonna get for this one here? I'm gonna need your best caption. What do we got going on? What are these, what are these women thinking over here? I'm thinking they're saying toilet paper has been restocked. Happy hour is finally here. <laughs> yes. I thought that said hooray for Golden Corral. That might have been. That might have been right for this too. Quarantine parte. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. I thought she said hooray for Golden Corral. So I'm going to go with that one. But Golden Girls is good too. Okay, we're going to go to another one, y'all. This one, I think it's fitting for a lot of us here in quarantine. But I'm going to need a caption for it. All right, guys. What do we got? Caption this. All right, where are my animal lovers at? This guy, this furry fellow needs a caption. What is going on in his life? We need a caption for him. Small cat rescue. <laughs> oh man, too much meowing. <laughs> oh, Kim, Kim, I like the I like the pun. Me after four more weeks of quarantine. <laughs> yeah. Too many trips to the fridge. Oh my gosh. That's good. That's good. Yeah, Easter has been called off, but not the candy. The candy is still on sale. All right, last one, okay? Last one. I mean, the best caption you can for this, all right? Really bring it all out here. I want everybody participating. Ready? Here we go. Caption this. What do we got? What do we got, y'all? What kind of caption we got going on for this? This is a lady, she's looking at her computer screen. She doesn't know what's going on. You said two weeks. <laughs> I already unplugged it to restart. Very nice, very nice. Why would a book have a face? That's a good one. <laughs> I love that. Would you repeat the instructions? I love that. I think she's saying, you said my stimulus check is coming in, right? Okay. All right. I love it, y'all. That's called Caption This. So you can run that at home. Um, you can honestly just get any pictures from, from around you, things that you think might be funny, might provoke some, um, some thoughts, some comments. And I think that activity would be great just to start off for, um, for your meeting. A quick little five or ten minutes. Let everybody have a little laugh and then, and then get into business. So, okay, the second activity. I'm really excited about this one. Now, this one, I'm gonna need everyone to participate. So there's four papers that I had you get for the beginning of this series. I'm gonna have you pull out now, okay? Um, you can get rid of the uh, text box. We won't be using that. And if you wanna just have your gallery view open where you can see other people's screen, that's gonna be really um, important for this activity. So this one, is called draw this, okay? So I'm gonna need you to have a pen or a pencil, just something around you um, that you can draw something out. And I wanna be, you know, I wanna, I wanna let y'all know that this activity is not really for my artists out there because my artists are gonna struggle on this one. I'm gonna give you a topic and I'm gonna have you draw out that topic and then we're all gonna see what each other draws, okay? Um, but the kicker is I'm gonna give you a time limit, okay? So I'm gonna give you 90 seconds, 90 seconds to draw Whatever the category is that I give you, and I need you to be prepared, I need you to draw it quick. And your job is to draw it to where people can recognize what that is, all right? So 
So in 90 seconds, we're going to start with the first one, and I'm going to give you a, uh, we're going to do three rounds of this, okay? So the first one is going to be, are you ready? Has everyone got the paper? Show me your paper. I know you're ready. Show me your paper. Put it on the, on the camera. I know you're ready. Okay, everybody's got their paper up, got their name on it. All right, y'all, first one I need you to draw. Again, we are uh, representing Winter Park here, so um, I thought it would be only fitting if I had you draw a peacock. I'm going to have you draw a peacock. So you have 90 seconds to draw a peacock. Your time starts now. 90 seconds. 90 seconds to draw a peacock. All right, everybody. Everybody's drawing away. I'm looking at screens. People are busy. Some people are trying to figure out what does a peacock even look like. Remember, it's got the feathers. It's got the long neck. Now listen, I don't want to see any chickens. I don't want to see chickens or roosters, okay? We need a peacock. We want you to represent Winter Park the right way. Let's get that peacock going. All right, we're 30 seconds in, people. 30 seconds in. We need a peacock. Think of the feathers. I think it's got, uh, it's got some skinny feet. Maybe you got some color pencils around you. Add a little color to those feathers. Do something real quick. I see Amy reaching for the color pencil. She's got a highlighter. 45 seconds in, people. We got half the time up. We need that peacock. Make it look good. Show us your talent. All right, one minute in. I need these peacocks. If you have a peacock drawn, I want you to start putting it towards the screen. We want to start seeing what these peacocks look like. Only 20 seconds left. I got some peacocks coming up. I want everyone to look at their favorite peacocks here. Let's look at a couple of these. Tiffany and Amy coming in first. Betsy, I think that's a turkey. No, it's a peacock. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's a peacock. It's a badly drawn peacock. She took the hand technique. Oh my gosh, Carrie, that is beautiful. Wow. And Kim added the I love winter park. Oh my gosh. Amazing. I got to get to these pictures. Everybody start, start going through these pictures. Keep your peacock up. Oh my gosh. Camilla, that's beautiful. You gotta, I got to see it closer. Oh, wow. All right. Robin, I love the feathers. Holy moly. Nicholas, is, it, is the peacock eating something? I can't tell. <laughs> All right, everybody. Kim is beautiful. Stephanie, I love it. Angela, Angela, I need you to get some color pencils. I want to see some color on that peacock. All right, we're going to go to the next activity here, y'all. That was, that was beautiful. Next one. Now, go to your second piece of paper here. All right, guys. So, basically, what they do to us during this quarantine, they shut down the most peaceful, most beautiful spot ever. We cannot see it. I need to bring it to life here for, for, for Winter Park Chamber. I need you guys to draw the beach, okay? So we want to draw the beach. Bring us all there virtually. You have 90 seconds on the clock. I need the beach being drawn out. Think about what the beach has. We have waves. We have the sun. We might even have some sand. Maybe you draw out some of your favorite activities on the beach. What do you like to do? Do you like bocce ball? Maybe a nice cooler? Maybe you got some seashells, but we need to be taken to the beach virtually. So we have about a minute and a half left. We're going to see what you guys can do. We need a nice drawing of the beach. What do we got? Is it going to be a sunset? Is it a sunrise? Are you watching the moon? Maybe, you, maybe you're a moon watcher. I want to see your best drawing of the beach. You've got about 40 seconds left. What do you got? Do you have a sand? Are there waves crashing? Is it a calm beach? Is it the west or east coast? All right, we are a minute in. We've got 30 seconds left. I see people busy. People are, are drawn away. Shirley's got something nice going on. I can tell. Stacy, she's busy. All right, as soon as you guys got your drawings up, we got 25 seconds, but we can start showing these off. All my fast artists can start putting their, their pictures up. What do you have for the beach? What is everybody's interpretation of the beach? You got about 10 seconds left, 10 seconds. How did you interpret the beach? What do you see? I'd love to show it off and make sure it's nice and close to that video. We want to be able to see it. So five seconds. All right, that's it. Final touches. What does your beach look like? That is 90 seconds. What does your beach look like? Let's see. Angela got the color. I love it. Megan, nice sun. All right. Lisa, Stacy, you got the boat. Okay. 
Oh, and a little umbrella. That looks relaxing. Keep them up. I got to keep scrolling through here. Carrie, I, I love the sun. Kim's son is smiling. Oh, wow. Shirley, I think that's some water. Is that someone surfing? Maybe they're powder boarding. I don't know. Nicholas, go to closer, Nicholas. Let's see what you got there. Oh, he's got a surfer. Is that a surfer? Oh, and a crab. I see your crab. He's an artist. Robin, I got to see that. You guys show off that artwork. There it is. I love it. We got the sky. It's beautiful, everybody. It's beautiful. Okay, for our last activity, last one, the last piece of paper you have. This one is the most exciting. Oh, and let me show you mine here. I'll show you mine. Sorry, I, I cheated. I was a little bit, you know, I had some time to work on this. I had to cheat a, a little bit. Um, okay, so last one. What I want y'all to do is, you know, everybody's curious what are you going to be doing after this virtual meeting is over so what i want you to draw in 90 seconds 90 seconds or less is i want you to draw what will you be doing when this is all done what will you be doing when this virtual meeting is over so i want you to draw in 90 seconds what are you looking forward to when this virtual meeting is over okay 90 seconds is going on the clock i need to know what is it you're looking forward to Time starts, 90 seconds to draw it out. Let us know, is it something relaxing? Is it exercise? Maybe you're gonna watch something. I heard a lot of y'all are watching Tiger King lately, so maybe you're gonna finish off that series. What is it you're looking forward to? Let us know. Draw it out, be creative. What do we got going on, people? I'd love to see it. And as you're, as you're drawing this out, just be sure to view other people's um, drawings here. Maybe you can comment in the text box if you want. 40 seconds gone by. Everybody wants to know, Nicholas, what are you gonna be doing after this? Carrie, Shirley, what is on, your, what is on the docket? People are curious, Rick Roach, what does he have planned after this virtual meeting? One minute has gone by. We've got 30 seconds to share to the world what you're looking forward to most after this virtual meeting. Okay, 15 seconds, wrap it up, wrapping it up. And let's start to show off. What are you looking forward to after this virtual meeting? Start to put it right up to the screen. I've got, I've got Rick Roach with a sunset. Ooh, Deborah going to Park Ave, a little shopping. I love it. Amy, what do we got? Amy is Ozark. Ooh, great series. Tiffany is getting ready for dinner time. Family table, I love it. All right, come to the next side. Stacy. Stacy is watching The Circle. I think it's The Circle. I think it is. I don't know. It's, it looks like a, maybe it's Jeopardy or the Wheel of Fortune, something. Lisa, a little cocktail. Angela is going to go for a walk, maybe. She's walking. Megan Joyner. Megan Joyner is making a cake, maybe, with a dog. She has a dog, and she's going to be eating cake. Uh, let's see. We've got Carrie. Carrie is uh, going to be hanging out with her daughter, I think. This is sort of a game for me as well, I guess. Um, book number seven, Kim. Congratulations. That's, that's impressive. Very impressive. All right. I love it. I'm going to keep going. Nicholas, I'm there. Where was it? Go back, Nicholas. I see it. Nicholas is cooking a lasagna. Okay, so after this virtual meeting, everyone's going to uh, get to Nicholas. He's going to show us how to make a lasagna. And then Robin. Robin is going on a beautiful walk. I can already tell. Okay, everybody. Last way I'm going to wrap this up is on that fourth and final paper. So, oh, here's what I'm going to be doing after this. Sorry. I had a little time to practice. That's a beautiful, uh, lovely poured uh, IPA for me. So, okay, last thing um, I want you all to do is on that fourth and final paper, you know, big thing with communicating with everybody is, is how are you getting through these stressful times? If you could recommend one, what I would call, quote unquote, a stress tool, if you could make, recommend one way to escape these stressful times, how do you do that to this group of, of, of fine people here? So on that fourth paper, if you can either just write it down, um, you could draw it out if you'd like, but somehow I'd like you to write on there or draw on there what you recommend as your number one stress tool to get through these times. Um, you know, a lot of us are, are cooped up in our house. We, we, maybe we can't go anywhere. Maybe, um, you know, there's, we're, 
looking for a way to escape mentally just for a moment. Um, so what do you recommend? What's something that you do during this, this stressful time, a stress tool? I see long walks coming up. That's a great stress tool, um, being able to go through it. What else do I see up there? You can start putting them up. I'll try and call them out if I can. Um, chatting with close friends. That's amazing. So actually connecting with people. Um, streaming live workouts, Pure Bar Orlando. So um, doing some live workouts has been amazing. I'm on the same screen. Lisa, see what you got there. Walking, um, walking and music. Jen, uh, a little bit closer so I can read that. Jen says, listening to music. That's an amazing one. And Stacy says, running, a great stress relief tool, running. Go on the next screen. Shirley, I see you. Um, Shirley says, the Bible. What an amazing way to connect. You have time, you have the Bible. Gratitude. So taking a moment to just what are, we, what are we thankful for? I love that, Carrie. Um, Nicholas, playing games with family and friends. Awesome. Camila, I cannot see, but I will see it here in a second. It says a little bit higher. <laughs> yoga. So working out in yoga. Um, Robin, reconnect. Um, reconnect with, I'm guessing, friends. And um, I think that those are amazing tools. So up, let me see on that same screen. I've got positive music. All right. So sharing positivity. And, um, and, and allowing that to be something that you focus on. So, um, and Deborah, one more, I didn't see yours. So let me, let me go back to you. Let's see what you got there. And reading a book, all right. So, all right, guys, that was team building, virtual team building. Um, I'm gonna get ready to hand it back over to Amy here. Um, what I would like to recommend is if you have not yet checked the series by Tiffany and Angela called um, Connecting Virtually, um, it was a webinar series that was done, I believe, Wednesday, April 1st, and I thought it was amazing. Um, if you want to go tandem off this and then the virtual connecting series by um, Tiffany and Angela and Amy, I thought it was a, a great job to um, find ways to, again, just connect virtually. So thank you so much, Amy, for having me on. Um, Betsy, thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate it, and um, I hope that you guys continue to build those teams out there. Remember, we're still asking for productivity and we're still asking for people to, um, you know, be efficient in their workplace. And I think ways of allowing them to connect with each other is also something we cannot forget. So thank you so much for having me on. Thank you, Kyle. Amy, do you want to open it up to questions at this point? See if there's any questions of Kyle. Sure, we can go ahead and open it up to questions or comments. If anyone would like to turn on your sound, you are welcome to do so now. Um, I see Stacy's doing the applause emoji. Thank I you, totally thank agree. You. Um, but anyone else, feel free to make a comment right now. I want to say thank you, Kyle. That was great. But I'd also like to know some of the questions you had on the conversation card. Can you email those out to us? Absolutely. I'll email it to Amy and then she can send it out to anybody and I can include a few more um, just through the email so you can have different options to be able to select from. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Great question, Deborah. We'll definitely get that sent out. Um, anything that you'd like to share, Kyle, send over to us and we'll send that in our follow-up email to this group. Thank Any you. other comments? All right, back to you, Betsy. Okay, thank you all for spending time with us today. We'd love for you to follow us on social media. If that's not something you're doing right now, please log on to Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn, where you can find us at Winter Park Chamber. And we'd love to get more content out to you. Tomorrow, we are going to have our United States Congresswoman, Stephanie Murphy, on a webinar to go through some of the elements of the CARES Act and what's happening in Washington. We understand that the, um, the lawmakers in Washington are working on a fourth relief package, so it'd be great to hear from her about what we can expect to come out of there. So please join us tomorrow afternoon for that. Register online at our website, just like you did for today. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna have the Chief Medical Officer from Advent Health Winter Park, our own hospital here in Winter Park. We will hear from Dr. Jennifer Keyball, who is their medical director, about some of the challenges they're facing and some of the things you can do to keep you, you and your family safe. So we are continuing to deliver content every day. I hope you received our midday briefing today, which is a summary of all the things that we think you need to know. If you operate a business that has special offerings for Passover or Easter, we would love for you to uh, go to our website, download or log on today's daily briefing where there's a form for you to submit 
your special offering for Easter or Passover. It may be that you've got Easter things in your store that you can deliver to people's homes, or you've got um, your caterer like Arthur's Catering that's doing a full Passover, Seder, and Easter uh, dinner offering. So we'd love to know what those are because we're going to be pushing that out tomorrow. So if you've got something like that, please get with us. Um, the link to that again is in today's daily briefing, or you can log on to today's daily briefing when you go to our website at winterpark.org. So we hope to see you again soon. Thank you to Kyle Roach. That was a very inspiring way for us to think about staying connected and keeping our team feeling engaged while we, we've got a uh, time at home, and I'm proud of y'all, you use the chat box very, very well. So we hope you'll come back, network more with us through our webinar series. Thank you again to my team, and I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you, Betsy, and thank you so much, Kyle. Everyone have a wonderful evening. We'll see you next time.